This afternoon, the former IGP Kale Kaihura was transferred to Kampala from his countryside home in Yantonde district aboard a military helicopter, bringing to an end a saga that began yesterday when soldiers raided a hotel near his home. Highly placed sources revealed that Kaihura's arrest was carefully choreographed not to humiliate him. Before he was elevated to IGP, Kaihura, one of the most loyal officers of the president, always executed Museveni's special assignments. Yet the higher he rose to the echelons of power, the faster he began descending the greasy pole. Highly placed sources revealed that the fate of Kaihura was sealed on Monday when the president called a crisis meeting at State House Entebbe and summoned all his security chiefs. As the country continues to be convulsed with murders and kidnaps, security chiefs at the meeting reportedly told the president to take action and rein in on crime spiraling out of control. Armed with incriminating evidence, a decision was sanctioned to question Kaihura and some of his loyal aides. It's revealed that what has prompted the questioning is the assassination of high-profile figures including the assistant IGP Andrew Felix Kawesi. Some of the senior officers at the helm during Kaihura's reign, according to sources, facilitated the process to give away the country's secrets. It's not yet clear where Kaihura is being held, but according to the UPDF spokesperson Brigadier Robert Karemire's letter, coached in diplomatic language, he reveals, and I quote, yesterday, 12th June, he was asked to report to the UPDF Chief of Defense Forces, General David Muhozi, at General Headquarters in Buya. A helicopter was subsequently dispatched to transport him from there, but on arrival, General Kaihura had traveled to Mbarara, and so it had to return to Entebbe Air Force Base. It reveals further that the helicopter was today sent back to Kashagama and has returned safely to Kampala with him on board. For many who have keenly watched the stage of Uganda's security clock and dagger games, they will agree that history has an uncanny way of repeating itself. Kaihura is amongst the officers that raided the home of former security minister Lieutenant General Henry Tumukunde in Kololo in 2005 prior to his arrest. Today, he finds himself in uncharted territory as he seeks to escape the shackles of bondage. <laughs>